<laughs> Hi you. Before enjoying this video, please lay a little love on that subscribe button. I'll be extremely grateful to you. Enjoy. on this thread. There's no way this is that important. Okay. Here we go. Um, oh. Hi, cutie. <laughs> I just figured you probably had somewhere to be. I didn't... I didn't realize you were still home. Oh, you made me coffee. You made me coffee? <laughs> That's so nice. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. Thank you. Here, give me. Mmm. <laughs> warm and it's perfect. <laughs> I'm impressed you knew exactly how I take it. I just didn't realize you were paying that much attention. This is... I, I know to you it's probably only coffee, but to this is... This is really sweet. Thank you. Yeah, it's the little things for me. I don't love grand gestures, but... You're hopping... <laughs> just for a minute, just for five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I woke up this morning feeling like death, and now <laughs> look at the difference. Only a couple minutes can make. I'm smiling now. My eyes are hmm, semi open. <clears throat> Slowly waking up. I don't know though, you're such a good cuddler, I might fall back to sleep, but you're not gonna let that happen, right? No, of course not. You are the coffee bearer. You would never I'm reaching over for some more. Watch out! <laughs> <laughs> I got it. <laughs> Listen, I never said graceful <laughs> was any part of this equation. I never said that's what you're getting yourself in for. Grace was never, never involved in whatever this is. <laughs> mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm? Nope. <laughs> no. <laughs> My lips are... Sealed. Zipped. Mm -hmm. See, I'm gonna show you with my hand the zip from the right side of my lip to the left side. No, you cannot kiss it right now. I'm making a strong point. <laughs> Zipped. I am. Mm, I'm censoring myself. I'm not, not censoring myself. Never censoring myself, I swear way too much to <laughs> allude to that. <laughs> Filtering myself. <sighs> mm, filtering myself. Because I have lots of nice things I want to say to you, like all in succession, but I will not. Well, because <laughs> now I know that sounds good in theory to hear me say nice things in succession, but nope, nope, <laughs> nope. Why? Oh, because mm, 
because it makes me nervous. Well, it makes me nervous because I don't want you to, hmm, I don't want the nice things I have to say about you to be misunderstood for clingy, I guess. So I'm keeping my mouth shut. <laughs> well, you may think that you're not gonna misunderstand my complimentary words for clingy, but it might scare you a little. You know, it might be too soon for too many compliments. <laughs> it's never too soon. <laughs> See, we think that in theory, but sometimes we respond differently than how we ought to as far as logic is concerned. There's only so much logic involved in the world of romance. <laughs> Honestly, it's mostly defense mechanisms, and I don't want you to feel a need to be scared of me or intimidated by me, so I'm trying to take everything very, very slow. This coffee's really, really good. I'm going in for more. It is a slippery slope, though, isn't it? Well, because, I don't know, like, I used to think that honesty was always the best policy. But people are so complex. You know, I mean, people get scared, or people have been hurt or manipulated, or people aren't ready for a certain degree of information or appreciation, you know, people are just so complicated that it's not that I would ever be dishonest with you. Don't get me wrong. I just, <clears throat> I like you and I wonder if I should just leave it at that. <sighs> okay, you can kiss me now. No? <laughs> Not until compliments. Oh, come on. You're gonna nuke this potential. <laughs> You're gonna have to earn it. How about that? How about we negotiate? You earn the compliments. No, it doesn't sound healthy, but it sounds safe. <laughs> I suppose, oh. Okay, yeah, you've earned some compliments with the coffee making, but you also had a head start on me. Like, you had an unfair advantage. You were up earlier than I am. <laughs> yes, that's, it's relevant. It is. <laughs> oh, it's not. I guess. How about I dish you out, like, <laughs> How about we treat this like a gumball machine? Just consider me a gumball factory. <laughs> and you, for every cup of coffee, you get one compliment. <laughs> no, but if I have too many, I will be dysfunctional. So you're right, those aren't good rules. But if you have too many compliments, you might be dysfunctional. Think about it. Think about it. More sips. Think about it. You know what Confucius says? Um, a lot. <laughs> Confucius says... <laughs> Confucius says, stop being so snuggly. He did say that, yeah. You can find that written on old stone blocks and, and carved and engraved and framed in more stone blocks. <laughs> the Flintstones loved Confucius. <laughs> yeah, Confucius actually goes way back. He was like an immortal, so like he lasted. <laughs> he walked the earth for a really long time. <laughs> Yeah. 
<laughs> Confucius also says, be careful what you wish for. Mm -hmm. See how about that? How you like that wisdom. Confucius also says, be brave. Okay, you know what? <laughs> Confucius isn't here. <laughs> Confucius? I don't know him, so he doesn't get a say. Okay, how about this? You really want your compliments. I'm gonna start with one. I'm gonna test the waters, and if you respond, appropriately do my compliment I may give you more compliments I may give you more compliments hmm. okay well for starters I really 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 like the way you smile at me <laughs> yeah yeah I really like your cheekbones and they go up <laughs> It's hard to describe an aesthetic, but it's like your whole face lights up. You're like a shining star. <laughs> you see, you see why it's awkward for me to give you compliments? <laughs> because they go deep <laughs> and I sound stupid. So, oh, you liked that one. Okay, you like to be a shining star? <laughs> Really though, it lights, it's like, it's like you light me up by lighting up yourself. You know, you're contagious. That smile is contagious. It's really special, it's really cool. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Mm, look at that face. I'm just gonna stroke my fingers over your head. See? You <laughs> see how cute? <laughs> You're gorgeous. You're absolutely gorgeous. What blows my mind is I feel like I would assume that you've been told that a lot, but I'm not sure that you've been told that a lot. You know, you don't have to answer that question, but it's just sus. It's, it just makes me wonder if people have intentionally not told you that for like, I don't know, like power leverage reasons or, or, you know, maybe just shyness reasons or maybe reasons like, like why I didn't want to give you compliments. <laughs> I don't know. I can't put my finger on it, you know, and I'm sure it varies from person to person, but I do wish that you, you know. I do wish that you'd been told that more. It's just so obvious. See, this is another reason compliments are awkward because I feel like a lot of them are just a matter of stating the obvious, you know? Hmm. Yeah, I got more. But I gotta take a sip of coffee first. And you're doing really good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm nervous though you're gonna walk away from this and be like, oh no. <laughs> oh my god, she's so clingy. Well I know, I know there's no I know there's no direct correlation between the two of them, but like it happens all the time, you know. People show affection or appreciation and then the other person just gets scared. I mean it happens. Because I really like you and I don't wanna push you away. So I don't give compliments. <laughs> no, I do give compliments because you deserve compliments, but compliments are scary for me. <sighs> Words of affirmation. <clears throat> you know, it's funny. For a really, really long time, I didn't think words of affirmation were my love language at all. 
because I think I had a different idea of what words of affirmation meant. I guess I took this test, just, you know, sometimes when you work really hard, you just need to like unplug for a second with like, you know, an online quiz. And the one that popped up on Pinterest was like, what's your love language? And I thought I had an answer to that. And so I took the quiz and to my surprise, it was words of affirmation. <laughs> And I realized it's because in the quiz, they had a lot of questions about, like, like they're, according to whoever made the quiz associated words of affirmation with support, you know, like supportive words. Like, if you were to get up this morning and be like, oh, I have a busy day ahead of me. If I were to say, like, you can do it, I believe in you, you know, like, so, like I guess those are words of affirmation, but... For me, it was a matter of compliments, like just, you know, telling me if you were to just tell me, I mean, I would like this, but I don't know if you were to tell me all the things I just told you, there's a piece of my brain that would say, okay, well, talk is cheap. You know, it's hard for me to trust words, but words are important, you know, and it's, it's communication, Words are the most important. It's why we're the most evolved. It's because we have words and language. Language is really, really powerful, you know, for better or worse. And I think that's why I always shelved it because I understood how powerful it is. <laughs> I think it was always really scary to me, the power of words. So I try to ignore them altogether. <laughs> For fear that they could be used against me, you know? Just mad trust issues with a very powerful yet very easily manipulated force language. Hmm. <laughs> you like words of affirmation too. I think you're really bright. Yeah. You're really sharp, you know, you you're you're quick on your feet and that's really impressive. Yeah, you're really sharp and I think you're a lot more charismatic than you realize too. You know, and I've heard like <laughs> one of my favorite things about being with you is that sometimes <laughs> we'll either be watching something or, you know, we'll be surrounded by other people and I'll, I'll hear, because I pay very close attention to you, not in a clingy way, <laughs> in an attentive, in an attentive, sweet person way. <laughs> I hear like your little things you say under your breath and they always, always, always crack me up <laughs> every single time. But then what's frustrating is I'll, I'll look around to try to share that moment with someone and nobody else will notice. And I'm like, so it's, I'm just alone in this. Then <laughs> I'll just, <laughs> I'll just, you know, just have to giggle myself <laughs> and maybe talk to you about it later. But <laughs> yeah, you do. You make me laugh. You're funnier than you realize too. <laughs> and obviously I'm just so impressed with how kind you are you know you made me feel comfortable with you right away so quickly in fact that it was suspicious it was so bizarre to me that you were you were so respectful it almost felt like, okay, well, what do they want, <laughs> you know? No, you've just... You've just wanted to make me happy. Well, the feeling is mutual, my dear. <laughs> It's really impressive. You're very impressive. You're just, you're a force for good. And I'm always so impressed too. Like, you're really good at, like, 
being comfortable with being wrong, if that makes sense. So I watched, oh my gosh, I loved it. I watched this, uh, I think it was a TikTok where I think the, the, the thread was, what's, what's one thing that's like super, it's been super, I guess, like denormalized, but it's actually super normal. And the response was being wrong. <laughs> the guy who put it together was like, do you have any idea how many times a day every single person is just wrong? <laughs> like, it's so normal to be so wrong. We're wrong more often than we're right. And for some reason, when we're wrong, we get really upset about it. Like we get so defensive. It's normal and okay to be wrong. It, I, I loved it. I absolutely loved it because he was so right. And you're really good at being comfortable with being wrong. And, you know, that's so productive <laughs> like, because being wrong is how we learn. Like being wrong means we're learning, you know, assuming we don't double down on wrong, <laughs> you know, like, but a lot of people do, you know, how many, oh my gosh, like just to name an arbitrary example, like, even, even in conversations I've had with people where I'll have specialized in a certain subject and I'll drop a fact, you know, and somebody will be like, I don't know, let's say I'm like, fish have two eyes. Yes. Okay. So let's <laughs> just for the sake of this example, we're going to go with this fish have two eyes. And I would know because like, that's my area of expertise. And then they'll be like, no, six. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Like, and I'll give them the full background. Like, actually, for all these reasons, and look at all these pictures, fish have two eyes. And they'll still be like, no. <laughs> and like, I'll feel crazy because I'm like, there's no way this person. <laughs> but mostly I'm like, why are they fighting me on this? Why don't they just say, oh, cool. Two eyes. Like, <laughs> Why did this even have to become a debate? You know, like <laughs> you're really good at just, just saying, oh, okay. And like keeping things moving because then it doesn't even become, these don't even become memorable moments, right? <laughs> like, like, you know, according to this example, let's just say that person said, oh, two eyes. Like I wouldn't have even remembered that conversation. It just would have been like a normal human conversation in which two people information share <laughs> but it's when people double down in a totally like bizarre ego-driven way that's when these conversations become memorable and become like these headbutting debates that go nowhere <laughs> because you're like what what <laughs> so you're i'm very impressed with how comfortable you are when you're just you know when you're wrong and that the fact that you don't you know you don't validate yourself on just being right like what a stupid thing to validate it's one of those it's one of those self-validation things in which nobody will ever win because nobody will ever be right all the time about everything <sighs> anyhow i'm very impressed with you in that way it's very inspiring well you inspire me too to like check my ego you know anytime i think we're in any position of insecurity, it's very easy to fall into the trap of ego. So we go into our next compliment. Being with you, it brings out the best in me. And that's really special. And that's, okay, that's one compliment. <laughs> that's one compliment that's had more to do with me wanting to protect you. Because I don't want you to feel a pressure. Like, I don't want you to feel a pressure to be, like, perfect around me. It's not It's not about that. It's just in the way you navigate the world with kindness and an open mind to learning. Like, it's inspiring and it reminds me, you know, it keeps, you keep me really grounded in those ways. You know, and I can imagine you do the same for a lot of people, you know, I'm sure you have that effect on a lot of people just by living by example. I think you make a lot of people really happy and I think you inspire a lot of people to do better for themselves, to do better for others. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you wanted compliments. You wanted compliments. So now they're here and now you're going to have to deal with it. Yeah, I see you getting shy. Uh-uh. There's nowhere to hide. 
<laughs> you're gonna have to flush and get flustered and, <laughs> and you can hide your face you know <laughs> however you like but it's not gonna change the fact that these are my feelings <laughs> and now you know too much see see now you're flustered i warned you i warned <laughs> you that's a good time for a coffee break, isn't it? <laughs> I love the shade of brown the coffee is. Look, I think brown is a really beautiful color. Yeah, I love this color. Like any coffee color, or like a dark chocolatey brown. Yes, some of my favorites. And everything looks good with brown too. I remember when I was a kid, there was like a shift in the f fashion movement. So pff, my dad was always like, ugh. he always like cared so much about like, what are the trends, you know? And pff. Anyhow, and I remember him telling me like, brown is the new black <laughs> this year. And I was like, we all of us were like, whoa. <laughs> That was a stupid story. <laughs> that was for you. <laughs> to let up a little bit on the compliments because see, <laughs> I got you all flustered now. It's okay, I like it, you're cute. That's another compliment. <laughs> You're just really cute. And I like the fact that I can compliment you and you respond really well. That's another compliment. <laughs> You're fun and sweet and I like you. And you make me smile. And you make me coffee. <laughs> and you're good to me. You make me feel comfortable, you make me feel special, and you make me feel safe. And very few people can do the, all of those things. And you're very impressive. Hmm. And if I'm being entirely honest, you're kind of my hero in a lot of regards. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I hope that I can do the same. I hope I inspire you. Maybe not exactly the same ways, of course, but enough ways in which you feel like a better person being with me, too. I hope we can do that for each other, because I hate to be the only person <laughs> getting all the perks out of this relationship. <laughs> So there you have it. Uh, you have compliments. <laughs> I do feel a little bit vulnerable now, yeah. <laughs> but so do you, so. You know, that's part of the fun of romance, isn't it? You know, it's so rare that we can be vulnerable that I think it's really refreshing <laughs> to feel this way with somebody that you can trust with that, you know. This is all part of the fun of what we're doing, I guess. So I'm glad. Hmm. I'm glad you whined enough that I gave you compliments. <laughs> Whining approved. <laughs> Oh, you got great lips, too. There's another couple in here. Come here, bring them, bring them to me. I need them. I need them. I need them right now. <laughs> I need them. Mm. Okay. How about we cuddle up just long enough for me to finish the coffee at least, okay? I think we've got time. 
I'll just sip it really slowly. <laughs> mm. No, I'm just the piece of my brain is still just a little nervous. You're gonna walk away and get nervous. <laughs> I guess, I guess that's the scary part about romance is I'll just have to wait and see. This is why words, this is why words of affirmation are scary. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, you just you can't unring a bell. I just hope. This ringing leads, attracts good things. Yeah. I hope it attracts you. <laughs> and you're a really good kisser too, and that's really great. You're also a really great cuddler. See, I'm on a roll now. <laughs> the way we fit together. We fit really, really well. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I begin my very slow and steady coffee finishing journey. <laughs> you cannot make me laugh. <laughs> you cannot make me laugh while I'm doing that because you're gonna get a face full of coffee spatter and that is the last thing we need <laughs> to cap that roll of compliments no no <laughs> putting my foot down on that 